Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about the 100, day 21. <clears throat> I already talked about the um, first book a while back and I really enjoyed it. You know, I mean, I thought it had a cool premise with the whole uh, like Fallout meets Lord of the Flies kind of thing, although replace the vaults with the space station, although there are there is an underground vault in the book too <clears throat> as you know when we get to day 21 and um you know just and i you know liked all of the characters you know like uh you know like <clears throat> wells um oh, i mean was like a uh, with his like betrayal of uh or like with his like trying to like get uh back on clark's good side there's clark's uh past you know and with what her parents did and what she did on the space station, which is the reason why she was sent down to Earth. You know, um, <clears throat> there's a glass surviving up in space. And, uh, yeah, and, um, and, uh, you know, like I even own, watched the TV show, love that so much that I actually have the DVD right here. <clears throat> yes, I thought it was that good, and I'm watching the second season too, you know, and I enjoy that as well, you know, like with, because I like all of the different factions and, you know, how they do things, um, um, not exactly too crazy about some of the changes though, but whatever, you know, I'm over it, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, anyway, um, anyway, um, and um, I'm not sure if they ever state uh, how long the like I might have like missed it or something like how long the they are up in space in the book and the TV show is 97 years, but in the but apparently in the book universe it was around 300 or about 300 years. That's or or at least that's what it says in day 21. I'm not sure if they ever stated if, how long they were in space in the first book, but yeah. Anyway, um, <clears throat> the this takes place about um, I'd say right after I guess the like right after the first book, you know, like where like learn the people are learning to survive and get along and um, on the planet Earth, and meanwhile. You know, up in space, the three spaceships, yeah, then another difference from the TV show to the book. In the book, it's not a space station arc thing, or called the arc, it's like three different spaceships, like, interconnected, you know, and like the uh, Arcadia, Walden, and the Phoenix, and, um, um, and anyway, like, in in space, you know, they're the, the ships are like breaking down because like they're not meant to like stay up there for that long of a time, and and now they're all tr and now, like so many people are just trying to like evacuate, get off the ship, and um, and that's basically like the like half the book there. Then the other half is of course are people down on Earth, um, you know, trying to, like, learn, learning about the, uh, grounders, <clears throat> and, uh, trying to get along with them, and, um, though it doesn't s say that, it's, um, you know, there's going to be another sequel to this, you know, it basically ends with them seeing the dropships going down to Earth, and, yeah, I'm not really giving as much, uh, about the story, because that's, I basically just told you the whole thing, you know, like, the uh, humans on Earth trying to survive with the grounders and whether or not they're going to go to war with them, and in space, them trying to, you know, our main glass is, like, trying to, like, uh, escape from this, from their dying ships, and, uh, I can't really get into the, too much more but without getting to like major spoiler territory, so yeah. 
<laughs> I'd just like to say that this is a very fantastic book, and um, whereas like before, I would always like judge the sequel standalone, but I would always constantly be saying like giving like a, a semi low rating of like you know. Uh, <clears throat> Like, oh, it's okay, oh, it's great, but you have to read the first one, so for now on, I'm just going to be, like, judging the, any sequels as, like, an add-on to the whole franchise or whatever. And for the 100 series, I give this a full-on 5 out of 5. You know, they're just, uh, I thought the premise was really nice, was really cool, you know. Like I said, uh, you know, Fallout meets Lord of the Flies and stuff. But, uh, you know, I also found, like, the characters interesting in their own way. And, like, the different conflicts that, and, uh, that they went through with uh, and so forth. And, um, yeah, I think it was just a really, just a really cool series so far. And just... Definitely, definite recommendation all around. All around is just great, and the show is great too. In case if you're anybody's wondering. Anyway, um, next time we're going to be talking about video games to a certain extent, as I talk about you by Austin Grossman. Until then, see you later. Have a nice day. Keep yourselves awesome by supporting your local bookstores and libraries with your patronage and money and so forth and yeah have a nice day <laughs>